Hey friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set the volume for individual apps in Windows 11. Before we jump in guys, would you mind taking a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button because this will let me know that you found value within this video. And on top of that, the biggest benefit is that you'll never miss out when I release future videos just like this one. Now let's continue. So once you're on your computer guys, all you have to do is click the volume icon on the lower right hand side and here you can see it here. So all you have to do is click on that and if you look where the volume control is, you will see this icon on the right hand side which indicates the select a sound output. Now if you click on that, you will be able to scroll all the way down to see more options and as you can see this one that says volume mixer now this is what control all those different applications here and here you can see i have an application here and another application here but to see all of those applications you need to go into your settings and then select audio or you can simply click on more volume settings here click on that and it will take you right into your system sounds right so if you scroll down here on this page you will be able to find the option that says volume mixer on the advance and if you click on that you'll be able to see all those different applications that you can manage the volume now as you can see i have two applications at the moment showing the google chrome and the snipping tool but i'm going to show you something if i open for example audacity you will see that it will automatically appear and as you can see here i have it open let me minimize and you can see that audacity is now shown here and you can manage those volume control also as well if you would like to manage the input and the output zone for these applications you can simply click the drop down and as you can see it says output and input right so you can basically click on them by default it is set default but if you click on each you can go ahead and manually set those input output device as you so desire but in a nutshell that's all there is to it guys very easy and very simple here you have it guys i really hope you found value within this video and if you do don't forget to take a moment to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so that you'll never miss out when i release future videos just like this one thank you guys for watching and see you next time